Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. In my last video, I showed you guys how to make these beautiful flower rings with the dollar bead box. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet using the dollar bead bag. Now, when you buy the dollar bead bag, you get eight strands of check fire polish beads. Four of them are four millimeter, four strands are four millimeter, and the other four strands are three millimeter beads. So, for this tutorial, I will be using the four millimeter strands. Now I love these two colors together so I will be using these for the bracelet today but I'm not crazy about these two together so I dug into the bead stash that Lisa sent me and I made this bracelet here with the pearls that she sent me and I also made this one with the chalk turquoise and the coral beads that she sent me. And so for this video I'm going to show you how to make this really neat bracelet. Um, it's not a hard bracelet to do but it is a little time consuming. So I'm going to start out using these here to show you the main weave because I don't have enough time to do the main weave down the whole length of the bracelet. I will go over to another bracelet and show you what to do after I show you how to do the main weave. Okay, so let's get started. Here is the list of materials you will need to make a bracelet. You will need six and a half feet of eight pound fire line or you can use eight pound monofilament. You will also need two size 10 beading needles and you will also need four millimeter beads. Now the amount of four millimeter beads you will need will vary depend on the size of the bracelet you want and also how big your clasp is going to be. So if you have a very big clasp you won't need as many beads. Now for example uh, these two bracelets here are eight inches long so I have 44 of one color and 45 of another color. So that's an 8 inch bracelet with a small lobster claw. So if you have a bigger class, like a big uh, toggle, you won't need as many. And if you're doing a smaller bracelet, of course, you even will be using less if you're using a big clasp and you want a smaller bracelet. So that's just an idea of how many you will need. You're also going to need 11 O seed beads and I'm using check here and you will also need of course a clasp. I'm using a toggle for this one. You will also need two split rings or you can do jump rings and you will also need a ruler. Okay so this is the list of materials. Remember I always put the list down there in the description bar and I'll also leave a link for the dollar bead bag. It's a really awesome subscription. I love check beads. They are my favorite. So I went ahead and I put my thread onto my needles and I made sure that my tail is even on both sides so I didn't run out of thread on one side because that will cause problems. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up half of my clasp now only because I'm using split rings. If you're using jump rings you will not have to put your clasp on now. You can do it later at the end uh, when we're just about done. Okay, So I have my clasp on and I'm going to pick up six 11 seed beads. There's four, five, and six. I'm going to slide all of them down. I don't want these five. I just want to crisscross my needle through this one seed bead. So you want to slide it down your thread just a little bit so you can crisscross your needles through there. I'm going to put my needles together and make them even. Okay. And then I'm going to grab this seed bead and slide it all the way down to the very center of my thread so I have what looks like this, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is pick up my check beads. So I'm going to lay it like this. On this needle, I'm going to pick up a blue one because that's the color I want on my outside. On this needle, I'm going to pick up a green one. This is going to be my inside color. I'll show you here. This is my inside color is red and the blue is in the outside. So for this one I want the blue again on the outside and I want the green in the middle. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is pick up a seed bead on each needle just like this. Slide that down and then I'm going to pick up the bead that's going to be in the center, the color in the center. I'm going to pick up a green one and crisscross my needles to this green. Okay, bring this down. And now I have what looks like this. Okay, so let's keep going. On my right side, I'm going to pick up a seed bead and then my blue. 
four millimeter bead and a seed bead. On my left side, I'm going to pick up one seed bead and I'm going to slide that down. I'm going to slide these down over here and then I'm going to pick up my center color, which is the green, and crisscross my needles through this bead. Okay, bringing this down. I now have what looks like this. So you see how I have these two blue beads here? That means that I'm now going to pick up the blue beads on this side, okay? So make sure this is snug before we pick up any more beads. Now I'm going to pick up a C bead on each side, on each needle. On my left side, I'm going to pick up the blue four millimeter and then a seed bead, so just like that. Now I'm going to slide these three down on the left and this one down here on my right. And then I'm going to pick up my center color, which is the green, and I'm going to crisscross through this bead. Bringing this down. Okay. So now I have this. So I'm going to do it again. On my left side, I'm going to pick up a seed bead and then one of the four millimeters that are blue and a seed bead. On my right, I'm picking up a seed bead. I'm going to slide these down. And then I'm going to pick up my center color. Again, that's the green. And I'm going to crisscross my needles through it and bring it down. All right. And now I have this. So now looking at this, you could see that I have two on that side and two on this side. So I'm going to swap and do two again on this side. So that's how I know what I'm doing, which way I have to go is because of these two beads here on the sides. So on my right side, I'm going to pick up a seed bead, my blue four millimeter and a seed bead. On the left, I'm doing a seed bead. I'm gonna slide those beads down pick up my green one and crisscross my needles through this one. Bring this down and pull it tight. So this is what we have so far. It has a real nice wave to it. Love that. It's so pretty. So again, I only have one blue bead here and I have to do another one. So I'm going to pick up a seed bead on my right my blue bead and a seed bead. On my left I'm going to pick up a seed bead. I'm going to slide all of these down. Then I'm going to do a green one and I'm going to crisscross my needles through this green one. Okay, so bringing this down, pulling it snug, I now have this. So I have two blue on this side, two blue on that side, two blue here. So now I have to do the two blue four millimeters on this side. So I'm going to pick up with my left a seed bead, my blue four millimeter, and a seed bead. On my right, I'm going to pick up a seed bead, and then I'm going to slide all of these down. I'm going to pick up my four millimeter green and crisscross through it. So again, pulling that snug, now you can see that I'm over here now with my blue bead, okay? So I'm just going to keep going at this, and then I'm going to point out some more things to you. So again, I'm going to pick up an 11 C bead, one on each needle. On my left side, I'm going to pick up another blue bead, because I only have one right here, okay? And then another 11 and then I'm going to slide these down. And then I'm going to pick up a green one and crisscross through this one. Now, by the way, I did figure out how to do this weave just going one time through the bracelet and not having to go back. But what happened was I was watching Netflix and I got carried away and I was halfway through the bracelet and I looked down and I realized that I was running out of thread on one side. I barely had any left and the other side was like a mile long. So I realized that I have to do it this way, the weave, the first way that I had designed it. 
So, now what I'm going to do, I have my two beads here on my left side, now I have to do two beads on the right side, and you may be wondering, what do you mean two beads on this side, two beads on that side? Well, if you look at the pattern, see these seed beads here, where there's four right there? That breaks up these two seed beads. There's going to be a circle here, when I get through this main weave, I'm going to go back and I'm going to make the little circles, so here's the one that's complete. See the little circles? Once I get through the main weave here, I'm going to come back and add seed beads to make those cute little circles there. Okay? So right now, what I'm saying to here to there, if you look at these seed beads, there's going to be a circle here and a circle there. That is what's separating these two. So there's two here, separated right here, and then there's two here. So this here is another separated spot. So again, I'm going to have two more uh, blue sea beads on my right because I just finished with two on my left. So with my right needle I'm going to pick up a sea bead, a blue four millimeter, and a sea bead. On my left I'm going to do a sea bead, slide these down, pick up my center bead, and crisscross through this. And by the way, some of you ask me how do I come up, you know, with the uh, color pattern. Well, when I first made this bracelet, I made it in all one color, and then I realized that I am going to have to do two colors because it's not enough beads, because the dollar beads, they come in uh, strands of 50 beads, so I needed, you know, like two 50 strand beads. So what I did is I made it in one color, I took a picture of it with my phone, and then I took it apart and I studied the picture on my phone and I saw how I could do two different colors and it made it have this really pretty wavy look to it so that's how I did it with two different colors okay so I'm going to continue the weave here I have my break right here where this is going to be my little cluster of seed beads I just did a blue one and I have to do another blue one so I'm going to pick up a seed bead one, in, one on each needle on this needle on my right I have to pick up my blue and my seed bead just like that and then I'm going to slide these down and again pick up a four millimeter bead and crisscross through this All right pulling that snug so now you see there right there's gonna be a circle there's gonna be a circle we'll have those four and there's going to be a circle there there's also going to be a circle here there's three here and you might be a little confused by that but I'm actually just going to add three seed beads there. All the other ones I will be adding two seed beads to to make a complete circle of six seed beads. So I just added these two blue ones on this side and now I have to go to my left side and do that side. So I'm going to pick up one seed bead on each needle and then on my left I have to pick up a blue and a seed bead because I just did these two here, okay? And then I'm going to slide these beads down. I'm going to pick up a green bead and crisscross through it, just like this. Bringing this down. I'm going to hold it up for you again. This is what I have so far. Make sure you pull it snug every time. On my left side, I only have one here, and right here is my break, so that means I need, I need another one. So I'm going to pick up a seed bead, my blue, and my seed bead. On my right side I just need one seed bead, slide all of those beads down, pick up a green one, and crisscross through it. So if you understand what I'm doing, you can fast forward this, but I think I'm going to do it just a couple more times to make sure that you guys are good to go. Okay? So I just completed that there. You can, if you go back and look, it's wavy, you know? So if you look, I have two here, here's my break, two on this side. Two here, there's my break, I have two on this side. And so on. So there's two on this side, two on this side. So you're just going to keep going with this pattern. So I'm going to do it a couple more times. I have my two blue beads here on this side. So on my right, I'm going to pick up a seed bead and my blue bead and a seed bead. On my left, I'm going to pick up a seed bead, and then I'm going to slide these down, pick up a another four millimeter, 
crisscross through it and bring that down. Okay, one more time. I'm going to pick up a seed bead on each needle. I have only one blue bead here, so that means that I need a second one. And then I'm picking up a seed bead just like this. Slide all of this down, pick up a green bead, and crisscross through that, and bring this on down. Pull it tight, and this is what we now have. So you just want to keep going doing this weave, and if you have any problems, just rewind this part. Now once you get to the length you need to make a bracelet, I'll show you what to do next, okay? So keep going doing this weave. I wish I had enough time to show you how to finish the bracelet with the one that I started with, but I have a lot of stuff going on today, so I'm not able to. This one here I was working on last night. I did the main weave, and I stopped right here at the end to show you guys how to add the rest of the clasp on, and then after we do that, we're going to continue weaving this bracelet. So the beads I have in this one are also from Lisa. Remember my Happy Mail package? She sent me these faceted... Uh, cat's eye beads. They are beautiful. I've never seen faceted ones before. And she also sent me these hematite beads. And she sent me this beautiful magnetic clasp. And she also sent these split rings. So I was really happy that I was able to use all of these together. Um, the seed beads I already had. And all the other stuff is from her. Well, except for the beading thread. So, as you can see, I have my cat's eye beads in the middle. And the hematite beads are on the outside. So I'm going to turn this so we can add our clasp, okay? Now, on the outside I have my, I'll zoom in, I have my two hematite, four millimeters, two over here, two over here, right here I only have one, so that means that I have to add a second one. So I'm going to take my needle, pick up a seed bead, my second hematite, in this row here and then on my other needle I'm going to pick up a seed bead and my cat's eye bead which is usually this would have been my green bead so in my other brace that I was working on this would have been my blue bead my four millimeter blue and this would have been my green one and we would normally cross through this one but we're not going to we're at the end we have to make this match the other end so I'm going to pick up a seed bead and cross through this instead so picking up a seed bead, crossing through this, bringing it down, and again you want to make sure this is tight, and I should have tightened this up before I picked those up. Okay, so now I'm ready to add my clasp, and I have to make sure I'm adding it on the correct way, I think I am. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up five... 11 of seed beads. I already have one there, so this is going to be my total of six. I'm going to slide these down like this. I'm going to pass my needle through my clasp like that. I'm going to take this needle, pass through my clasp, and then I'm going to pass through these five seed beads. And then I'm going to grab my other needle, and I'm going to bring all of these beads down okay now before I pull this tight I'm going to pull this snug and then I'm going to carefully bring this down now this can loosen up on you and if it does you will have to undo it a little bit and tighten it up okay so now I'm gonna zoom in closer now I'm right here I'm going to take my needle and pass through this four millimeter bead. Okay, just like this. Then I'm going to take my other needle and pass through the hematite bead. just like that. And now I'm going to take both of my threads, wrap them around my fingers, and pull this very tight. I need this to be really tight. 
before we continue okay and it looks good I'm going to see if my clasp closes right because it's a magnetic clasp and it's not end to end it's on the side so I have to make sure that I added that correctly and I did okay so now I'm going to open this back up so now I'm going to continue this weave and it does loosen up on you quite a lot right here so you constantly have to check and make sure that it's tight okay now I'm going to hold it like this and I'm going to zoom back out because we're in too close I like to do half of the bracelet and then I stop and I go to the other string and I do the one whole side and then I go back to the other side because if you do one whole side all the way through the tension's not right so I like to do it like that okay so pulling this tight I'm going to hold it like this in my hand I'm on this side here okay Xing out of this bead and I have three seed beads here now over here I just have two seed beads with this needle I'm gonna pass straight through these two and through the hematite bead but on this side because I'm exiting out here and there's three seed beads here that means I have to uh, make a circle so I'm going to take my needle and pass through these three seed beads and we're gonna position ourselves so we could pick up more seed beads. So we're bringing these three together because they're not together, they're just side by side. So sewing through them like that is pulling these together. Okay, can you see that? And then I'm going to pick up three seed beads to complete my circle of six. Okay, so exiting out here, I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna pass through all three of these. And I'm also going to pass through the hematite, the next two seed beads, and if I can, I'll also go through the next hematite. Just like this, okay? Just makes it quicker. Pulling this through. Pull it tight. I now have my six seed beads right there, okay? Now I will stop here because I need my tension to be tight. And I'm going to go to the other side and work on that a little bit because this here is... I have good tension and because I'm so right-handed I have to flip this over so I'm gonna flip this over and now I'm taking my left needle over here okay so I just did that side and to tighten this up pull this tight and pull this tight again okay now what I'm gonna do exiting out of the hematite bead I'm going to take my needle and pass through these two seed beads and the hematite. Pull that. And now I'm right here at the spot where I'm going to have my circle. So I have four seed beads. So I'm just going to reposition the needle again, just like we did on the other side. Through those two, through these two here. Careful not to go through the four millimeter. I'm pulling these four together. I'm going to pick up two, so I have a circle of six, and then I'm going to pass through all four. I've only got through three this time, but I'm going to come back and pass through that last one there. Okay, so there we go. We went through all six seed beads, and we made a circle. So now you can see I have a circle here and a circle here. So I'm going to continue going. Wherever I have the two seed beads in between the four millimeters, I'm just going to shoot with my needle straight through all of them. Just like that, okay? Pull it tight. Here I am at the four seed beads again. This is the break. So I'm going to pass through those two. And then turn it and pass through these two. And again, doing this is pulling these together. And then I'm going to pick up two seed beads. And by the way, this bracelet does shrink. If you look at how it is, our waves, when we go to add the beads, it shrinks just a little bit. Uh, I found that it shrinks about a quarter of an inch. So, um, something else I would like to tell you guys. Um, this one here I did with 10 seed beads. And it's exactly 8 inches. 
This one I did with 11 of seed beads, and I used the same amount of 4 millimeters, but because the seed beads were smaller, it shrunk about a quarter of an inch. So that's something else I just wanted to let you guys know. Okay, so I have my four here. I picked up two. I have to complete this circle. I can only sew through two at a time because of the angle on that. Sew through those two, through these two, and if I can, I'll pass through these four beads here. Okay. So I'm passing through all of these beads. Pulling that tight. And here I am again. So I need to pass through these two seed beads. And then I'm going to turn and pass through these two. And again, that's bringing our beads together. There's four there, and that means I need two more because I need six. Okay, so I'm going to pass through these two again. And then I have to turn it and pass through the last two. And to save time, I'm going to pass through the hematite and the two seed beads if I can, and that next hematite. Okay. So I'm shooting across through all three of those. Or not three. It's more than that. And all tangled up. Okay. So I'm just going to put that through there. Okay, so again, I picked up two, I made the circle, I passed through these four beads, it wasn't three, it was four, and now here I am here, and I'm almost halfway through the bracelet. So here I am again at these four C beads, so that means that I need to bring all of these together by passing through them, just like this. Okay, I'm going to pick up two and complete this circle. I need six. Okay, so there's there's those. I have to go back through these two here. And again, I'm just going to shoot across through these four beads. Okay. So this is what we have right now. And I'm going to stop right here because I'm going to go to the other side and show you what it looks like once I fill in this side and I'll try to get to this point here but again I have to flip this over because I'm really right handed okay so on this side I left off with the four seed beads so I'm going to take my needle pass through these two pass through the next two again we're bringing these four together to make our circle and I just have to pick two more up. Picking two up, I'm going to pass through all four of these. Just like that. And again, I'm going to shoot across through all four of these beads here. The four millimeter, the two C beads, and the four millimeter. And again, here I am. So you could see how it's nicely coming together. Make sure you pull it tight every time. Okay, so I have to pass through these again to create my circle. I'm going to add two seed beads. I have four here. Passing through these here. Two more. Passing through these four. And again, here I am at this part, so I have to take my needle and pass through all four of these to bring them together. This is much faster with the needle and the thread, by the way, when I was doing this with monofilament. It took a lot longer. It's more time consuming. Okay, so I'm just completing this circle. And I'm just going to meet up to that point right there so you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm now taking my needle and I'm passing through these four beads. I'm going to pick, actually I'm not pick up any yet, I have to pass through these, that's right. So I'm pa passing through these four again. I need to bring all of these together. 
and then once these are together I'm going to pick up two seed beads and close up this circle passing through these two here and I'm going to try to shoot straight across let's see I'll just go through these two okay so those two completing a circle and then I'm going to pass through these four beads okay so as you can see it's pretty simple this is what it looks like I'm gonna pull these tight again it's very pretty I really like it okay so you're gonna keep going doing this weave until you get all the way to the other end of your bracelet and then once you get to the end I'll show you what to do next so keep going filling in the sides so I continued the weave as you can see and I'm going to zoom in so you can see clearer continue the weave all the way down here and right here is where I'm at and I decided to leave off here because I just wanted to make sure that you guys do this end right um, when I did the first circle, remember there was three seed beads there and I had to pick up three. Well, all the other circles had four seed beads, so I only had to pick up two. So this is just like the beginning down there. We have three here, so this means I have to pick up three. So I'm going to pass through these three, bring them together, and then pick up my last three seed beads. Exiting out here, I'm going to pass through all of them again. I have one more here to pass through, and I'm also going to pass through my four millimeter round bead. And while I'm at it, I'm going to pass through these two seed beads, okay? So passing through all of these, pull that snug. I'm going to take my needle, pass through the seed beads here and through my split ring so I'm gonna go through those there okay I now have to pass through this one and through the hematite bead and I'll also pass through these two seed beads just to bring it together more okay so I'm going through all of those and I'm fixing to lose my tail there so I'm gonna pull this through a little bit okay so I just did that side now I'm gonna go to my other needle and again I'm right-handed so I have to flip it over on this side I'm exiting out of the hematite bead I gotta be careful I don't grab that other thread exiting out of the hematite bead I'm gonna pass through these two seed beads and through the hematite and through these two seed beads up here at the top. Okay, through all of those, pull that snug. I'm gonna pass through my seed bead at the top there and through my split ring. Pull that through. Then I'm gonna pass through these two seed beads through the four millimeter bead, just like that. I'm going to pass through these three seed beads and I'm getting in position to tie my knots. Okay, now pull this tight. And this is what we have. This is what our threads are exiting out of. Okay. So now we are ready to tie knots and I'm going to sh show you how to do it on both sides. Um, I'm exiting at right here of these seed beads and I'm going to take my needle and pass right here through this little hole, make a loop and pass through the loop twice, okay? And I have to make sure that my knot is going to land in the right spot. So I'm going to pull it up right there and gently pull it down pull tight 
Now I'm going to pass my needle through the hematite bead and through the two C beads there. I'm not going to go straight through those two because I'm only going to be able to get about halfway, maybe one third of the way back through my bracelet and I'll have all these other ones that aren't done. So that's why I'm following my old thread path. Okay, so through that, those two, now through these two, just like this. I'm going to tie another knot here and again I'm going to put my needle through there. Make a loop and pass through it twice. Pull that tight. Then I'm going to take my needle and pass through the hematite and these two C beads. And then I'll tie another knot here. So I usually just tie my knots right before the four millimeter bead because it's hidden they're the best. Okay, tie that tight, pass through here, and again pass through these seed beads. Okay, got two more. And again, I'm going to tie another knot right here. So I keep going and I try to use up as much thread as I possibly can. And then I trim off the excess if I can't get through any more. Now this side here is pretty much the same. I'm exiting out of these seed beads. I'm going to tie a knot here. So I'm going to pass the needle through this little hole right there. Grabbing this thread, passing through the loop twice. And bring this down. Now I'm going to pass my needle through the hematite and the two seed beads and tie another knot right here. Again, make a loop and pass through it twice. Okay, then I'm going to pass through the hematite bead and again I have to go through the cir circle of seed beads and I always pass through the ones at the bottom. Don't go straight across through these here because then you'll see a thread path through there and like I said you only probably have enough thread to get about this far in your bracelet so then you'll have all of the rest of your bracelet you won't have the thread path there so make sure that every time you go through these seed beads that you only go through the bottom there following our old thread path okay so there into there and now I could tie another knot right here so keep going tying your knots and like I said try to use up the most most of your thread because it really does make it stronger and you're done I will be finishing this bracelet here and I'll have a picture of what it looks like finished in the video and this bracelet here that has the magnetic clasp I do plan on putting a safety chain on it but for picture taking purposes I'm not gonna have it on here but what a safety chain is in case you didn't know it's just a short little piece of chain maybe like an inch inch and a half long maybe even somewhere in between there that you connect to this ring and to this ring so if you're shopping for example and your magnetic clasp sticks to a shopping cart um, it'll open up but you'll feel the bracelet sliding off of your hand so you'll be able to stop it and you know close it shut before it actually hits the floor and I've really found that to be helpful so I always put a little safety chain on my um, magnetic clasps bracelets that I make and it also makes it look really professional so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and like me on Facebook and don't forget to share pictures of the jewelry we've made from my videos on my Facebook page and follow me on Pinterest thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing